Hi guys and welcome to my channel. Here is my look for this year's Nordic Face Awards Top 30 Challenge, Pastel Dreams. I hope you guys like it. Let's start with the base. I'm mixing vivid bright screen colors in endless skies and get money with full throttle shadow stick in cold fear. I'm mixing all the colors with white body paint to get the perfect shade. This mixture is super opaque, so I needed only one coat. Best way to apply this base is a flat foundation brush. It gives the best coverage and blends the base together easily and seamlessly. Ignore all the doodles on my chest and neck, I decided to paint on them later on, so you can just paint over them now. With the white body paint, I'm gonna brighten up the bridge of the nose, bringing the paint on my forehead and under the eyes. This helps to get some shape back to my face. I'm blending the edges with precision blending sponge, and this works perfectly especially under the eyes and on the bridge of the nose, cause the small precise tip. Setting the paint with HD finishing powder. It's important to set the base cause all the creams, so it won't move and shift when applying more makeup. I'm mixing my brow color from Full Throttle Shadow Stick in Dangerously with Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk. My brows are so light that I can just paint over them, but if you have naturally darker brows, I suggest blocking your eyebrows so the color stays bright and vibrant. I'm just following my brow shape when filling them in, making them a little fuller cause I have like two hairs on there, so... Using a small detail brush and a little bit of the paste paint, I'm cleaning up the brow. Taking the teal matte shade from Ultimate Multi Finish Shadow Palette Electric and using it as my contour shade. Starting off with contouring my cheeks and temple. Also defining my non-existing color bones. Using an all-over shadow brush, I'm shaping my nose, bringing the shadow all the way to the brow. Shaping also under the nose, packing more color so the nose looks more cutesy and shorter. I'm packing the teal on front of the brow giving the nose more depth and shape. Making my button nose, I'm shading over the bridge of the nose. Taking the tail to the edges and under the mouth to elongate and give the mouth more shape. Using the Vivid Bright screen colors in Love of a Dose and mixing the shades Suka Rush and Rebellious Edge. First going in with my purple mix and a super fine detail brush to make small dots in front of the brow going all the way down to the sides of the nose, concentrating most of the dots on the tip of the nose. Going on top with Love Overdose and following the places where I painted the purple dots. Mixing another color with liquid suede in foiled again with jumbo eye pencil in milk to get the light coral shade. Using the same method and colors, I'm painting those small dots on the other side of the forehead. You can make as many or as few dots as you like. The reason why I only paint the dots on the other side, I want to keep the look a little off balance and keep it asymmetric. Well hello, more dots! This time I'm painting them on the opposite side on my jaw and bringing them down to the neck. For the eyes I'm taking the Vivid Pride Scream in Sugar Rush and buffing it on the lid and dragging it over the outer corner. With a clean brush, I buffed the edges of the cream color into the base. Made another mix with cream color Love Overdose and Jumbo Eye Pencil Milk. And I used a lip brush to pack the color on the lid and also cut the crease. And I'm dragging the color on the outer corner to a clean point. 
Setting the cream shadows with the HD finishing powder so the shades won't get any darker like they would when using an eyeshadow. I mix a pastel yellow shade using a milk jumbo eye pencil and the yellow shadow stick I used on my brows. I'm outlining the light pink lid shade with the yellow using a fine detail brush. I'm resting my hand on my face so I have more steady hand and clean lines. I'm bringing the yellow on my lower lid making a little point on the inner corner. Going under the yellow with the lilac shade and puffing it out. Going back to the dot city, first going in with the lid shade, the light pink, bringing the pastel pink also down into my inner corner and then connecting the yellow lines. With liquid suede lip cream in Sway, I'm making more dots on top of the pastel pink ones. I'm using a 4 white pencil in vanilla in my waterline. Getting some sparkle on my eyes and starting with the glitter primer. I'm first placing the primer on the outer corner on top of the yellow line. I'm topping the primer with a glitter mix I made myself for this look. Priming also under the lower yellow line and connecting the glitter on the end of the cut crease. I'm lining my lash line with Epic Ink Liner, so the lash band of the lashes I'm going to use would blend to my lashes more seamlessly. I'm coating my upper lashes with Worth the Hype Mascara. For the top lashes, I'm taking Wicked Lashes in style Drama Queen and for the lower lashes, I'm cutting small pieces of the style Overrated. I use tweezers to place the pieces on the edge of the yellow, making my eyes look little bigger and giving that cute anime vibe. Since we missed the dots so much, I'm painting them down to my neck and over my gullo bone, using the same colors as before. Taking a holographic halo shimmer stick in shade Arctic Rush on my cheekbones and blending it to the skin using my fingers. To give the skin even more shimmer, I'm taking my absolute favorite new product, the holographic halo powder in Mermazing, powdering also bridge of the nose. Taking both the stick and the powder on top of my upper lip. For the lips, I'm taking the pastel pink I used on the eyes and using a lip brush, I paint the color on. I'm outlining the lips with dots using the lilac shade first, bringing the dots towards the nose and also elongating the sides of the mouth. Following the lilac with pastel coral and pink dots. On the blank side of the face, I'm going to smear glitter. Just go at it, glitter is your friend. Bring in the glitter on top of the collarbone also. I'm mixing Vaseline and the glitter and pat it to my roots, using my fingers to comb it out. For my headpiece, I made glitter cat skull from paper mache and painted white fake flowers with watercoloring paint. Both the skull and flowers were super easy to make and really fun too. And that's it with my pastel dreams look. I hope you guys liked it and if you did, don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. Hope to see you on the next one.